There are people here who are going to handle monies you have never handled before. And when God lifts you up, no, it is God who has lifted me up. So don't go apologizing. You know, I'm sorry. I'm driving this car. I know I'm not worthy to drive this car. Pana, you get in there and declare the blessings of the Lord. Make it rich and addeth no sorrow. Don't allow the Anakite spirit to cause you to forget that it is God who brought you out of Egypt. It is God who brought me out of poverty. This is Creflo Dollar, senior pastor of World Changers Church International in College Park, Georgia, USA. When you seek God, you'll attract things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when you seek things, you'll attract trouble. I'm going to share a great revelation from God's Word that will impact and change your life forever. It is time for you to resign from trusting your ability and start trusting God's ability so you'll quit giving birth to Ishmael's in your life and start giving birth to Isaac's. If you want to see the promise come to pass in your life, I am so excited because this year I'll be traveling to your great country of Kenya. I'm going to share a great revelation from God's Word that will impact and change your life forever. I absolutely cannot wait to see you there. Number nine, it is the spirit that brings tears of fear and terror. It is the spirit that brings tears of fear and terror. If you read in uh, Numbers 14 and verse number one, it says, that night, that night, the whole congregation of Israel came together, lifted up their voice and cried. And the people wept that night. I came to say to somebody here, the days of your weeping are over. The days of your weeping are over. How many women, how many women do not sleep in the night because of a few words that a man said? Somebody had just said a few words, just a few words, and you toast the, in bed the whole night. The whole night you cannot sleep just because of a few words that he said. How many men will not sleep just because the, the lady said one or two words? I came to say to you, the days of your weeping are over. I said the days of your weeping are over because that anarchite spirit will have to take its position and its position is in the grave. The position of the anarchite spirit from this day is in the grave because we agreed we are not beating it unconscious, we are killing it in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Number 10. It is the spirit that makes you lose your pers the perspective of who you are. You lose your perspective. You look at yourself from different sunglasses. You look at yourself from a point of failure. You know, experiences, experiences cause you to place yourself at a certain, a certain level. There are those of us 
there are those of us when we went to school and the, we did the exams they used to hang the results on the notice board and they would put number from number one all the way to the, to the, to the, to the last they would follow and then the marks so some of us used to check our names from the top others from the middle others from the from uh, from the bottom going upwards depending on your sunglasses <laughs> depending on how you are seeing yourself I, 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 are you with me so that is what the anarchite spirit comes to do it comes to make you lose your perspective the right perspective you see you as, you live you see yourself as a sinner always you see yourself as a failure always you see yourself as a problem always. You see yourself as bankrupt always. You see yourself as moneyless always. I told you, I, I used to see myself as, as a financial cripple. I, I told you. And I told everybody, I am a financial cripple. And because I said it, I became one. I became a financial cripple, affording 20 shillings. 20, 20. Kobo, not kobo, kobo reine. 20 shillings. Bow, 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 you bow for, a, for tea at, at 10 o'clock was, was impossible. Why? That's the way I saw myself. I do not know how you see yourself, but I want you to know that things are changing today. Yeah. I said things are changing today. Yeah. Your life is just about to change for the better. I said your life is about to change for the better. You know, people may have called you failure, 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 failure for so long until you saw yourself as a failure. People called Sarah barren, 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 barren until she couldn't produce. For her to produce, God had to visit her. May God visit you. I said, may God visit you. May God turn around that which people have been calling you. May God turn around that which your people have been calling you. Your parents, your father, your, your husband, your wife, your spouse, your children. Whatever they have called you, let there be a change in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Creflo Dollar, senior pastor of World Changes Church International in College Park, Georgia, USA. When you seek God, you will attract things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when you seek things, you'll attract trouble. I'm going to share a great revelation from God's Word that will impact and change your life forever. It is time for you to resign from trusting your ability and start trusting God's ability so you'll quit giving birth to Ishmael's in your life and start giving birth to Isaac's. If you want to see the promise come to pass in your life. I am so excited because this year I'll be traveling to your great country of Kenya. I'm going to share a great revelation from God's word that will impact and change your life forever. I absolutely cannot wait to see you there. 11. It is the spirit that keeps you from your inheritance. The Anakite spirit keeps you from your inheritance. But I came to tell you that from today, your inheritance will start locating you. Amen. Why do I say it keeps you from your inheritance? Remember that they had been given the land as their inheritance. They were told this is your inheritance. I give it to your forefathers. What happened? As soon as the spies came back, they came back and they said, we can't make it. We can't make it. We, there's no way we will go there. So the Anakite spirit keeps you from inheriting the promises of God. It keeps you from attaining, capturing the promises that God has given to you. But that Anakite spirit has got to die. I do not know how much of your inheritance has been sat on or is being sat on by the Anakites. I do not know how much of your inheritance is lying idle because you cannot see it. You cannot see it because you can only see the giants. 
I came to say to you today that those giants are dying today. Amen. They are dying today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Higher. Number 12. It is the spirit that makes you forget God's protection upon your life. The anarchite spirit makes you forget God's protection. What do I mean? These people have gone through, have gone over the Red Sea. I was talking about the song of Moses. I, I was talking about the song of Moses on Friday in Kameme. I went there for, 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 the, meet, meet, uh, the, for, the, for the night, for the night Kigosho. And we were I was talking about the song of Moses that they sang when they crossed over to the other side. When they saw the, uh, how God had delivered them. But the e Egyptians and their horses and their chariots had been swallowed by the Red Sea. Miriam took the tambourine and she led the whole congregation into singing because of the deliverance of the Lord. But a few days later, they forgot God's protection. It will cause you to forget God's protection and you think it is your own protection. That's why they were saying we cannot go because they have forgotten that God killed the Egyptians for their behalf. Are, are you hearing me? So if somebody gets a robbed job for your behalf, take a tambourine and start singing because God is involved. I, uh, I said God is involved. And there are things that God will do just because you are a son in the house. There are things that God will do for you just because you are a son in the house. Ah. And when God chooses to do something, it is his choice. Agree with a Nigerian writer, Chinua Chebe, God's case, there is no appeal. When God has decided to bless you, don't apologize. Uh, when God decides to lift you up, don't apologize. Be lifted up and live good and be a blessing to the body. Be a blessing to God. Because there are people here who are just about to be catapulted to the top. There are people here who are headed for the top. There are people here whose lives are changing. There are people here who are going to enjoy the blessings of God than ever before. I, there are people here who are going to handle monies you have never handled before. And when God lifts you up, no, it is God who has lifted me up. So don't go apologizing. You know, I'm sorry. I'm driving this car. I know I'm not worthy to drive this car. Pana, you get in there and declare the blessings of the Lord. Maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Don't allow the anarchic spirit to cause you to forget that it is God who brought you out of Egypt. It is God who brought me out of poverty. Yes, it is God who brought me to this place. Yes, it is God who gave you that job. Yes, uh, now, how does God give you a job and then you refuse to tithe? You get a job. You have been praying. Oh, Bishop, pray for me. I need a job. Bishop, pray for me. I need a promotion. Receive promotion in a kuja, ten a double. When it comes to tithing, eh, this money is too much. If I take this, if I take this to church, anyway, you know, I will, anyway, watch a toy kidogo. And it is God who gave you. You have open a, open a door for the anarchite spirit to come and steal from you. Huh? You do a business, a business, and you make millions, and then you hide under, you hide under the pillow. Instead of bringing in your tithe, you're opening, opening a door for the devourer to come and devour. We, 
don't forget that it is God who has protected you this far. It is God who has brought you to where I am. Somebody declare where you are. Somebody declare my life. Will never, ever, ever be, the same again. be the same again. The Anakite spirit will cause you to live in the past. The Anakite spirit is the spirit that causes you to live in the past. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, there we wept. When we remembered Zion, they were living in the past by the rivers of Babylon. They had been told, when you go to Babylon, build houses, or oh, come on, tell me, build houses, dwell in them, plant fruits, eat the fruits, huh? get married, and uh, marry and get married. And have children in Greece. In other words, you have no room for no children. Yes. And your children yes. will get married and they will have children. Yes. Amen. Instead of fulfilling that, what did they do? They are we set down when we remembered Zion. They sat there. And they remembered Zion. They were living in the past. Oh, when I was in college, I would speak in tongues. When I, when, I, when I was in the Christian Union, oh, I was a prayer warrior. We used to go for missions. Oh, we used to see people getting saved. Oh, you know when I was young. Oh, you know when my mother was there. Oh, you know when I was in Kariobangi. Oh, you know when I was in New York. It is only when I was, when I was, when I was. Where you are, you are not where you was. You are here. You are here. Stop living in the past. Live in the now. Our God is the God of the now. The masses of the Lord are new every morning. Huh? So I came, to, I came to say to somebody here, your season of living in the past is over. Amen. I said your season of living in the past is over. Amen. When you live in the past, you will never move forward. You will just see about those old days. Either the good old days or the bad old days. That's all you will think about and you will never go forward. But I came to say to you, that's not your portion. Amen. I said that is not your portion. Amen. Okay, number five. 14. It is the spirit that causes you to wish you didn't start. The, the Anakite spirit is the spirit that causes you to wish you did not start. How many men are saying, I wish I didn't get married? <laughs> How many women are saying, I wish I didn't get married? How many people are saying, I wish I didn't start this business? I wish I didn't, I did not start, I did, I didn't start this. It is the anarchite spirit that comes and causes you to wish you did not start. Listen to what Israel said. You read in verse, in, in uh, chapter 14. Chapter 14, when they wept the whole night, they said it could have been better. We stayed in Egypt. Why wouldn't would it that have been better if we died in Egypt instead of bringing us here to die in the wilderness? And you know that Anakite spirit killed all of them in the wilderness. Yeah. It killed all of them. All those who came from the from Egypt died in the wilderness. Why? They allowed the Anakite spirit. To operate in them, which made them wish they did not we start the journey. I wish we did not start. I wish we I would rather we stayed. I would rather we stayed in Egypt, where there were onions and garlic and cucumbers. 
15. It is the spirit that makes you, you wish you are dead. It is the spirit that makes you wish you were dead. It is a suicidal spirit. The anarchite spirit is suicidal. And that suicidal spirit shall not operate in you. I declare none here this day shall operate under that anarchite spirit of wishing you were dead. How many times have you wished the cloud would open and swallow you up? There are many people who live a life wishing I was dead. Why? Because of the things that have surrounded them. And the anarchite spirit has come, captured them, and magnified everything. All they see are giants. I came to say to you, you are greater than your biggest giant. Yes. You are greater than your biggest giant. Yes. Now, when you go through all that, you will you come to discover that when David, David faced his giant, you remember I mentioned about Goliath, when David faced Goliath, Goliath, the giant, tried to intimidate David. How did he intimidate David? He used words to intimidate David. He used words to show David that David cannot make it. He said, am I a dog? Am I a dog? Can you bring me a child to come against me with the sticks? I'm going to feed your carcasses to the birds of the air. The giant said. What did David do? David did not just keep quiet and say, Anyway, may the will of the Lord be done. <laughs> Lord, let your will be done. Hallelujah. Me, I'm a humble servant of God. Let the will of the Lord be done. Oh, 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 oh. Uh -uh. He looked at the giant. And he said, you are coming against me in the name of your gods. And I come against you in the name of the Lord God of Israel. In other words, it was a battle for gods. It was a God battle. It was God for God. And my God is a consuming fire. My God is a consuming fire. My God. God will fight my battles. I said, my God will fight my battles. Your God will fight your battles. Your God will fight your battles. So this morning, every giant, every giant that has been intimidating you is going to fall down. It's going to fall down. David said, I will kill you. I will kill you. I remember I was, talking to the, I was talking to the pastors, I think, on Friday, and I was reminding them about Benson Idahosa. Benson Idahosa was in, in Benin, Nigeria. That's where he came from. And at a certain time, the witches from all over the world said they were going to have a conference, a world conference of witches. It was going to be held in Benin City in Nigeria. And that's the, where, the city where Benson Idahosa was pastoring. He, was, uh, having a, he had a big church there. And it was announced in the news, in the media, that there's going to be a world conference of witches in Benin City. And all plans were made. The halls were booked, the hotels were booked. Everything was made. Then he heard that. When he heard that, he said, what, what is that? Now, Benson Idahosa was, was that wild, wild Pentecostal preacher. One, one day he came to, 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 Nini, to Pefa here in Nairobi. He was, he was invited to preach there. And he preached and he saw the, the way the people were giving the, the offering in, on a plate. And, they, they, and they put the, then they put the plate. You know how they put the plate on the table in front there? Then he was invited to preach. When he was invited to preach, he stood there and he got the hold of the plate. Say, what is this? This money you give to God? What is this? He went by the window and threw it out. <laughs> he, th he threw the offering out and said... I want you to give to bring now to give to bring God's money. That's that's not God's money. That's boys' money. I threw it out for the boys to take. Bring money. And the Kenyans were shocked. They brought money until they were shocked. That is the authority in, uh, under which he, he operated. Now the witches are going to meet in his own city. 
And it has been put in media public that he, the, the witches are meeting there. So the, what did, the, the media invited the, the he said, there's, there's going to be no meeting. There will be no meeting of witches in my city. So the, when the media heard that, they invited him to the studio. And they invited the chairman of the, of the, of the witches. So they put them there live on television. Live on national television. So he said, Mr. Chairman, you are saying there is going to be a meeting of witches. What are the dates? And the chairman gave the dates and the times. And when the visitors will start arriving. And he said, Archbishop, you are, what are you saying? I am saying there is going to be no meeting. Live on television. There is no, going to be no meeting of witches in my city. In the name of Jesus. He says, Chairman, what are you saying? There will be a meeting. Archbishop, what are you going to do? I will kill them. <laughs> if they come here, I will kill them. And to show you that I am serious, I am going to start with this one. Ask him if he is a witch. I will kill him here in front of these cameras so that everybody will know that I will have killed him. Ask him. So the, 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 the interviewer turned, uh, turned to him. Are you a witch? He said, no. <laughs> that, that was the end of the meeting. The meeting was never held in Benin City. Why? Somebody stood up. Somebody stood up and said, I know whom I have believed. Somebody stood up and told the Anakite spirit, you are not going to operate in my city. Yeah. Therefore, we are saying in Nairobi, every Anakite spirit that has been rising up against this nation, your time is over. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shall not allow Anakite to intimidate the people of this nation. We refuse in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Creflo Dollar, senior pastor of World Changes Church International in College Park, Georgia, USA. When you seek God, you'll attract things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when you seek things, you'll attract trouble. I'm going to share a great revelation from God's Word that will impact and change your life forever. It is time for you to resign from trusting your ability and start trusting God's ability so you'll quit giving birth to Ishmael's in your life and start giving birth to Isaac's. If you want to see the promise come to pass in your life, I am so excited because this year I'll be traveling to your great country of Kenya. I'm going to share a great revelation from God's Word that will impact and change your life forever. I absolutely cannot wait to see you there.